Alright friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G and we're going to be diving into this. It's technically Marvel Heroes Series 7, even though it says Spider-Man, the other ones say Marvel. But uh, this Series 7 is all Spider-Man little minifigs and this is from Jada Toys. It's these nano metal figs and I'm digging this line, this series. We have the other three previous, the four, five, and six. And we haven't opened these yet. So today we're gonna open this one that has this. And then you know what, if you wanna see more, we'll open the other ones too. Especially because there's more Spider-Man uh, characters in these other ones, or at least different versions. If you'll notice, man, I keep dropping this because it's not standing on its own. But like, here's this cool carnage. But look at this carnage and it fell again. But, um, there's also, like, I know the Craven was somewhere. Look, there he is right there, but he's on this one. There's Miles. So, um, and then different versions of, like, here's, like, a purple Venom, and here's the black Venom. So, uh, you're not going to want to miss this, so why don't we just go ahead and dive right on in, take a look at this Series 7, this 18-pack. Well, the other ones look like 20. But, um, yeah, so I can't wait to jump on in. So, guys, if you've not already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you get notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you think of these metal, um, cool metal Spider-Man figs, these nano metal figs, and yeah, give us a big thumbs up. So what do you say we go ahead and get started right now? What is up, Vincent GG? Vincent GG? Super Channel G. Super Channel G. GG. Vincent GG from Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Vincent GG on Super Channel G. So tight. Don't stop doing what you're doing. Congratulations on all your success. Congratulations on everything. I will see you on the TV. Uh. Super Channel G. God, is this great! All right, friends, so let's jump on in and to celebrate our ex and mark with excitement the fact the new Spider-Man movie is coming out in just, well, technically, by the time we get this video, it's going to be like tomorrow, and it just premiered like yesterday, but ah, whatever. The whole point is, it's coming out this week. I can't wait to see. No spoilers, please. And let's get this open, and we can do the other ones if you like as well, too. Just let us know. And so... Without any further ado, look who is in this set. We have Spider-Man Mark IV, we have Electro, Vulture, Iron Spider, Mysterio, Superior Venom, Ghost Spider, Sandman, Carnage, Spider-Man 2099, Rhino, Scream, Spider-Girl, uh, we also have Green Goblin, Riot, Reverse Spider-Man, Lizard, and Ancient uh, Agent Venom. Again, the other sets do have either duplicates or alternate versions. Uh, sometimes it's a repaint but look at this we're gonna want <coughs> this one and this one excuse me this one and this one um, to complement our set and look at this spider girl it's a red and black one versus a white and black one so we're gonna have to do that really soon um, and let's jump on into this one so look at this packaging it's a beautiful showcase right here it's gonna be great just to display like this they did a great job of making everybody Clearly, easily uh, viewable, and then nice little housing to have them in if you want to display it like this. Love that. Love these Jada uh, Nano Metal Figs, and I love the vehicles that Jada makes also. And then some of them come with little miniatures like this. Uh, one of the reasons why I like these miniatures is because I had metal miniatures of. I know I had some like a Batman, some DC ones when I was a, a kid and uh, other ones but um let's get this open look how great these all look okay so do we have tape yes we do get this open right here cool i said cool in the last part didn't even open all right slide these bad boys on out of here we have an extra little background so we can have this little blast out right here. Cool. And let's see who we have. It's this. 
just to hold it in place a little more. I'm like, yeah. I guess so it wouldn't collapse down when it's laying down. So I can hold it up. Okay. So, let's just go in order. First off, let's get, let's get closer too. We have our Spider Man Mark IV. And let's zoom in right here. Let's take a look. I love how it's got this metallic look. It's, um, yeah, they're metal figs, but that doesn't mean the paint has to be, um, you know, metallic and shiny. But I'm digging the way this looks. The red and the blue is a nice color, nice compliment. And you can see how big my <laughs> literal thumbnail is to this. So these are miniature and they're super cool. Look at that. Yep. Awesome. Let's see down here. Just says Jada Toys and Marvel. It doesn't have. I was hoping it would say like Spider Man, like Mark IV, so that we don't get them confused when we have them together. Okay, set them aside right here. Put it over here. Okay, next we have Iron Spider. An Iron Spider, according to this, this would be this black. Uh oh, did I get some of the paint on my finger? Why did it turn black? And um, maybe, but so it's not quite a gold look right here as far as like black and gold, but definitely looks cool. Look at that. Now I know they wouldn't have had the um, spider <laughs> legs coming out in the back here, the four of them, but it would have been cool if they did. Uh, I don't know if the eyes were intended to be that close, but overall this figure looks pretty cool. Look at that. Digging that spider symbol right here. We can zoom in just a bit closer. But again, look at my literal thumbnail compared to this little action pig. Little statuette. Okay, so next, yeah, Ghost Spider or Spider Gwen. Also Spider Woman. You know, different aliases depending on what you're watching her in. And so, look at that color matches really well we have a little bit of a paint bleed look at that and because look at the white and the black how they don't mesh well there and there's some chimpy chipping right there but um the blue the fact that kind of comes up like that almost makes it look like it's like slime coming up but um i'm like what's the deal here paint coming off or paint stayed on feels like it's extra so I'm like yep it did look okay well cool small win but I'm digging the way this looks just don't like the fact that it's kind of chipped but there we go we have our oh it does sit on the bottom ghost spider it says iron spider and the other one just says spider-man so I mean, that's still gonna work. And I am very excited about that. I'm like number and then it has random numbers over here. So I guess they don't correlate. I was like, maybe they go in a row. They don't. Okay, awesome. So next we have Spider-Man 2099. Let's get him on out of here. Now you might see some of these similar or same poses where they just painted it differently but I'm pretty confident we're gonna see this pose as a spider-man well, in a different set but in this one the blue and the red the way they have it like that will make it unique that way but spider-man 2099 looks cool and we have extra paint here again like well better extra paint we can just maybe scratch off then then um, and paint chipped. But look at that. I know a lot of us like Spider-Man 2099 and he's always looked cool. Well there we go. There we go Spider-Man 2099. Awesome. Okay. Come right on over here. Okay. So we have Spider-Girl. 
Trying to make sure it's not Spider Woman, but pop on out. See what we got here, and then look at that mask. The paint on the mask is a little discombobulated. Face almost worked well, but the paint is kind of at war with itself right there. And then some paint bleed with the brown on the hair. Look at that. Unfortunate, but otherwise almost a cool execution. The hair is just kind of following the flow like if she's holding it, but it looks like melted caramel on the arm. But um, in any event, almost cool because <laughs> look at the, the way the suit looks in the front with the white. But it's kind of at war with itself, but this was almost a good execution. So, set that aside right here. And I was like, I know we had another one of her. I'm like, I didn't remember it looking necessarily like that. I'm trying to see if I could find it right away. And, um, nah, I didn't find it right away. Maybe I don't, but um, that would have been super cool. Alright, let me move on either way then. Oh yeah, it is. I'm like, oh yeah, we right here. And I was like, so the mask is a little better. Yeah, execution's a little tighter on that one. So we'll end up getting to that one eventually. Okay, <clears throat> we have reverse Spider-Man. Here we go. Again, this is gonna be another pose that's gonna repeat throughout uh, the Spider-Man themes on these. Come on out, buddy. Come to Papa. Here we are. And this one looks actually really cool. Like this red and silver that's going on here. Look at this awesome spider symbol right there. Pretty good execution here. And then as far as I'm like, where are we going to see this, uh, this pose again? It's going to be this. Look at that, but just painted. Differently, sure looks like it. Oh, look at this other Spider-Man 2099. Cool, this other version of Carnage. And, well, getting a little carried away, we'll end up getting to that one that was series four, I think. Either way, reverse Spider-Man. It just says Spider-Man on the bottom. Cool, look at that. Love the way that spider symbol looks in the back. And it's raised, so cool. <clears throat> All right, let's keep going. Let's put this over here. So next we have <clears throat> we have Electro. And excited about Jamie Foxx not having to be a blue dude. <clears throat> so this Electro, obviously comic book Electro, looks very not too bad. Look at that! Wow, they did a pretty good job with the eyes and the mask. So that looks cool. The green. The yellow actually complement each other pretty well and I was like ooh is this paint bleed or whatever but no it's just reflection look at that cool got pretty good detail more or less that electricity painted right here looks pretty good looks like it's chipped slightly right there otherwise it's pretty awesome good job guys it does say ooh, electro on the bottom okay <clears throat> we have next? Mysterio. This one's obvious. There's definitely no mistake in Mysterio. And look at that. So, they just painted the diamonds right there on his, attached to his cape, to his suit. His purple looks cool. The green, the yellowish, orangish. Looks good. And yeah, there's not a whole lot special about this, but you know, it's a very simple, basic, but effective execution. Look at um, right here's gauntlets. That looks awesome. So good job. That looks cool. All right. So good job there. Put that right over here. Next, Sandman. Man, I got this tickle in my throat. <coughs> Sandman looks pretty outstanding, actually. It's one of my favorites so far. Look at this. So we did a pretty good job on the face, especially because again, look at these are miniature figures. Um, size it is compared to my hand and my fingers. Look at his fists coming out. Uh, again, extra paint or paint chip. So worry about that later. Probably extra paint. 
I like the way he, he's got this like nice club type deal going on, spiked. And yeah, with his brown pants. He's even got a belt going on right there. So they didn't make the shirt striped. Well, they did, but they put a single color right here and you can see where the stripes would be. Because these don't have like tons and tons of colors. It's mainly like four would be a lot of colors on these little figs. So one, two, three, four with the white, right? And then five with the, I guess, five with the skin tone. So one, two, three, four, five. Yep. So anyway, looks great. One of my favorites as well. All right, so let's move on to Rhino. <clears throat> Rhino looks pretty awesome. And this is, feels definitely like a solid, big, this little statuette again. This Rhino is outstanding. Just say right off the bat. Look at the detail on this figure. Looks awesome. Look at the feet. Look at the fists. Maybe because it's a little bigger, but the detail on this figure is outstanding. It's got kind of like Charlie Brown eyes. That's all right. Mouth just a big white blob. Still looks great. Still looks great. <clears throat> Definitely a well molded figure. Look at his back muscles. Digging this. Looks awesome. Okay. So now where are we at? Green Goblin. How am I gonna get this guy out? It's stuck in there. Look at that. Really shut from the back. Okay. <clears throat> this one looks like it's just a duplicate later, like almost an exact, if not an exact duplicate. Wow's eyes are orange. Look at that. So we got some paint bleed on the chin and right there on the side of the nose. But otherwise the ears are kind of raised, but Looks like the paint went way too far on that side. Look at that. But nonetheless, so kind of a cool sculpt. I thought his shoes were going to be longer on point or his boots. <clears throat> his feet look really small there, but here's our exploding pumpkin. It's pretty all right. Overall, pretty decent mold. So, Green Goblin, ladies and gentlemen. Green Goblin. He's like, okay. Coming back to here, seeing what it was then. Like, yeah, no, it looks like it's probably the exact same thing. Not even a slight repaint. <clears throat> okay. So now we have Lizard. And man, Lizard looks pretty fierce here. So we have a little bit of paint coming off right here. On the lab coat. Yeah, definitely, because look, it's like a matte color finish on the lab coat. So that's different because we don't have that on any of the other ones, really. So look at the eyes, look great. Look at that, great job on the head sculpt. And the face and the paint. And it looks like there's a little bit of, sh of shading with the black. Look at, this one had a little bit more love that went into this. So look at the pants. <clears throat> there are paint chips and we're able to scratch that off luckily. A little bit of paint bleeding. So they didn't bother painting that too well down there. Look at that. But otherwise, look at the tail. A lot of love went in this figure. This fist. It's cool. Love this lizard. Okay. Awesome. <clears throat> Set him over here. All right. So we have six left. And let's see if they aren't all symbiotes. Well, this one isn't. So. <clears throat> Vulture and it looks pretty cool it's got this suit right here it's not simply just wings on a dude with a fur green outfit look at those talons and uh, those boots that have those claws on the bottom look interesting how the green just kind of uh, we'll paint to about here and then just fades but it's almost an optical illusion when you turn it to the side it still like fades really well and almost seems to disappear, but this is a pretty cool looking figure. The sculpt on the back is nice, even though there's nothing really special about the back, but the sculpting looks great. Again, I know we have a vulture somewhere. There it is. I was hoping it wasn't the exact same fig. 
but I think it is. So, in any event. <clears throat> oh man, look at this. There's Agent Anti Venom, which is again on the one we're gonna do later. And there's Agent Venom. Nice to have both of those. <clears throat> okay. Set them right here. So next we have Venom. This is probably gonna be my favorite one out of all of them. Venom looks outstanding. Well, I take it back, that Carnage looks pretty awesome. And look at this Venom right here. Look at that tongue. Look at the way they painted the eyes. This Venom is sick. Looks like it's a little off as far as the the body of the spider right there. But otherwise, can't really tell unless you're really looking at it. I'm digging the way the spider symbol looks in the back. Look at the muscles, the sculpt, calves, everything. This is a big, um, beefy looking venom symbiote. And compared to our Spider-Man, or this one at least, definitely bigger and scarier. Okay, my favorite so far. And that tongue is awesome. Okay. Here's our four left. Let's see if I can get this carnage out without breaking his little blade that he made right here. I'm like, come on. Come on, buddy. Come on now. Alright, cool. I'm like, alright. So, we just really have red and black and a little bit of white here. Eyes look cool. Sculpt looks cool. Look at that. That kind of a Freddy Krueger thing going on. I like where they put the black on here. It's too bad they don't have some on the back because that would really continue to look nice. Um, this looks great. And I get why it's blended here to here so it doesn't just crack off and you can't have tons of parts just like sticking out. It's even better from this side as far as that blade. This one looks great. Look how the hand opens up like that. Digging this. And this carnage is different from the one that we would have later in this other set. Because this carnage looks like this. So, cool. Carnage, awesome. Let there be carnage. And then I'm right here. Look at that. Okay. <clears throat> so we have Scream, then Riot, then Anti Venom. I'm sorry, Agent Venom. So, Scream looks cool. Look at that, look at the big claw hand. The big, the way it looks like hair right here. And then we have the two-tone. So that looks awesome. Well, it looks awesome overall. The paint looks a little rushed right here. I was like taking a closer look. And then uh, the splotchy paint here. It's appropriate, looks pretty good as far as what it's supposed to look like. Would have liked to have been able to see what's going on with the hand here. And oh, okay, I guess I short, sort of can, but differentiate it maybe just a little bit more from the hair. And or tendrils that might be coming down, right? But overall the face looks decent other than it gets like slices straight across right there, but still cool. <clears throat> okay. You know what? <clears throat> I said, and I already got further on, but this says Venom, and it says Venom here, but the box does say Superior Venom. So, uh, if I missed that, forgive me guys, this is intended to be Superior Venom and not just necessarily Venom. So just like we have this one here that's a little more purple, I guess. It's supposed to be Venom. It's the same fig, <clears throat> essentially, but even perhaps almost the same paint application but it does say here superior venom on the box okay <clears throat> now we have riot come on riot 
please don't hold out on me like that. It's just really stuck in there. There we go. <coughs> Look at that. The mouth could have looked a little bit better. The eyes look good. The black on this like metallic, like bluish silver look, look pretty good. Um, yeah, it looks pretty awesome. And I, I'm thinking it's going to be probably the same or similar sculpt as that other carnage we were looking at. So nonetheless, it looks pretty good. <clears throat> and last but not least, this one might end up being my actual favorite because of the detail. Agent Venom. Well, we also have Agent Anti-Venom, so. All right. <clears throat> Look how cool this little, this little guy looks. The detail is outstanding. Look at the detail for the eyes on the face. Look at the detail for this um, suit. <laughs> there are a little bit of paint chips. Look at he's holding the gun here. Look at these little gloves or gauntlets. Look at this little tactical um, belt. Cargo tight pants with really cool um, boots. This is a great looking fig. So it's probably my favorite out of them all. Venom second. Perhaps Carnage, Lizard, Rhino. Those all look outstanding. So, guys, let me know what you think of these. And are they as cool uh, to you as I feel they are to me? But here's a quick overview of all of our figs again in this set. Oops, it might be too fast because they're small. Look at that. There we are. That Electro works out well. Mysterio, Sandman, look at that. This Rhino is ridiculous. Okay. Green Goblin, Lizard, Vulture. We have Scream, Riot, Superior Venom, Carnage, and Agent Venom. So guys, I want to thank you for hanging out with us here today, and we'll be doing more. Hopefully you like these, we can do series four, five, and six, this is series seven, but it's because of the Spider-Man movie again, no spoilers. Um, and yep, well, thank you for hanging out with us here today. If you're not already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button below, hit the notification bell next to it so you're notified every time I have a new video come out. And talk to us in the comments, we'd love to hear from you, give us a big thumbs up. And if you like this video, I'm confident you'll like other great videos like this on our YouTube channel. So. Check us out there, and we'll be seeing you soon. Thanks for watching Vincent GD's Super Channel G. Peace.